Behold! Yeah, okay, you can go like that, but if there's like thousands of those... <laughs> because they're gonna yeah, be fair. placed exactly next to each other. Yeah, no, other. no, I, I do approve of this, by the way. Yeah. Like, good thing. I need more steam engines. You emptied my chest, right? I did, yes, I just mined it. Right. No, then I'm just gonna chop some chop some wood and stuff. Right, perfect. Alright, that's one. I hope we have actual like buffers of resources. Oh yeah, that will be nice. I'm pretty sure the speedruns are blue signs by this point. Oh, probably. Hell, some would even be at a rocket almost, because we've been playing for an hour and a half. Or at least I have. Yeah, I, I think, like, the. Probably not in 2.0, but I think the, like, the 80% completion may have been under an hour for the world record. I'm not sure, but. Jesus. But they are playing on a very specific map with blueprints that they just need to fill, probably. No, I think there's actually a speedrun ca category that just bans bl using blueprints. Or pre-made pre blueprints, at least. So you actually need to, like, make the builds in real time as well. Yeah, okay, but is that the one where they achieved an hour or less? I, I doubt that. I think it. so, I'm not entirely sure, but... Jesus. People are I insane. It... They, they probably they just actually... remembered where they needed to go. I, I think they might do it on a specific seat, I'm not entirely sure, but... Oh yeah, absolutely. Also, the thing is, they, they boost all of the resources up to the absolute maximum, so they just... Like, they barely need any belts. Oh yeah, no trains like, they, at they all. They have a massive coal patch over here, so they just build the bonus on top of the coal patch, so they have infinite power forever. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, they're definitely not playing on train worlds like us. <laughs> Uh, and again. Yeah, I mean, if you're into... Buffer's still fucking... <sighs> yeah, like, it's not gonna be enough. enough. But it's yeah, enough I'm for just us gonna... now, just ignore it. Yeah, eventually this is all gonna turn into gear, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Thing is, if you're into speedruns, sure, but I just never got the appeal to it. I like taking my time I, so it I can see the appeal to it, but it's not my, my mojo either. Yeah, sure, I like platformers and stuff. I can see it kind of being yeah, like exactly, a race, like... but not in Factorio. I like taking my time in Factorio. Uh, I think I need more copper over here. Well, not really that much copper, but still. Uh, don't mind the unnecessary splitters as of now. It's just to make the build more future-proof. Oh yeah, for the coal? Yeah, that's entirely fine. I, don't I do I that don't. as well. Uh, what do we need for trains, actually? I think we need steel, right? Uh, yes. And uh, engine units, which we are still a ways away from. Like, that's green science. Yeah. How many green science do we still need? We're at 40%. 40% of 75 is... Uh, like 50? 30, I think. I think 30, it's, it's 30. 30, so we need 45. I'll just make 50 red signs manually. Want me to queue up the resource for trains, by the way? Uh, sure, if you can queue it up. I think that will be the first thing we really automate. Aside from belts. Is green and red signs. Yeah. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, okay. Like this. Alright. All right. And then I'm assuming also the signals? Uh, yes, absolutely. Those will be mandatory. Especially uh, because... If it's just a single rail. They're not mandatory immediately, at least. Yeah. But the copper and the iron is so close to each other that we will probably just want a single rail track going yeah, there. No, no. I just mean like for the first five minutes or something where we're just using them to get some iron in, like they would immediately be necessary, but they would be necessary very quickly. Yeah. I'm actually starting to wonder what I will use the elevated rails for. Apparently you, you can use them to cross lakes. Yeah, I, that will probably be the main stuff, because I think I will just keep using intersections. Uh, do you remember our previous uh, run, by the way, where... 
like I think it was Circuit City which just had massive uh, traffic. Oh yeah, yeah, that as well. Like you could just make Circuit City its entire an entirely separate level or something. Yeah, I think mostly for deaths. But yeah, maybe. Like, thing is, this is just a hammer. Like now we're gonna look for nails, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh yes, totally. And we now have copper smelting. Nice. All four furnace on it. Right. I need 14 more steam engines, so I need a little bit more iron. That's a lot of iron, but I'll take it. Yeah. Well, a lot of iron for us now. Yeah. Right, while I'm crafting, do I need to go clear some biter bases? Not really. I think expansion isn't a thing, so we have relatively uh, a relatively high amount of time before we actually need to worry about Python, I feel. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming the copper also goes... Um, also, uh, I'm allowed to also put the copper in the buffer? Yes, absolutely. I do have no belts. No, because I need to place iron in the... gear. I'll... Oh, I need to actually connect the iron mines up north. Forgot about that. Uh, you're probably gonna need some underground builds, by the way. Alright, we have copper smoking. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I don't have any belts right now, so... Uh, uh, I can bring you some. No, it's fine, it's fine. Just need to move the actual miners a bit westward. I'm also gonna put a radar on top of the copper smoking, by the way, because it's just out of vision range. But what? I put a radar on top of the copper smoking oh, because okay. I thought it was out of vision range. Yeah. Okay. You have self-service as well, Bird of yeah, I think I'm gonna place a radar a bit northwards, seeing as we will expand our train northwards. We'll definitely want a radar there, just to find new... Yeah, a bit of scouting could be nice. Yeah. Might also want to research turrets, by the way. Just thought of that. Yeah, but I think we still want trains first. Yeah, I mean, like, we're gonna want trains at least fairly quickly, so... Yeah. Oh, you put them on mining drills, nice. Yeah, I will need them eventually anyway. So I might as right. well... ...do so. So I might want to stop we'll producing to it in favor to a of... second iron column, by the way? Starting what? Want me to expand to a second iron column, by the way, or...? Uh, no, we're... We'll be fine with the first one for quite a while, I think. I am gonna do something, by the way, because I I fear throughput issues otherwise. And that is what you do. Belt balancing shenanigans. Yeah, fair. I wasn't there yet because I just don't have the belts for it yet. I'll probably expand our coal mining as well. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna need way more coal. Might actually... I don't have any miners on me, so I can't immediately fix it, I'm sorry. That's fine. Uh... I have a couple. I'll place so them down we first. Have... We have the resources to start on the bus, right? Uh, we do, yes. Alright, okay, thanks. I'll clear our... Mining circle as well. Of uh, course. I'm gonna do one thing really quick, by the way, which is. What you doing? I'm gonna make the resource for steel processing. Oh, the uh, column going into another column. 
No, 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 just like I'm gonna make the research packs for steel processing. Oh, manually, yeah, right. I yeah. thought I was making some, but I think I already put them in. Yeah, it's pro it was probably enough for game size, and that was it. Yeah, because yeah. The, the machines ran out in the labs. I, I, I can start making the, like. I, a... I might have overshot the red signs needed for green signs by like five. Maybe. Like, I just put some in, so that's probably what actually ran it further, but. I can start making the steel, the steel smelting all the way back, right? Uh, I think that will be a good idea, yes. Alright. Um... Wait, no, I can't because I'm still crafting infinity red signs. Yeah, <laughs> fair. I'll craft like some as well. Anyway. Well, actually, I'll get started on the red signs on the belt. Where do we want our that? science uh, park, by the way? Just the labs themselves. What? What do you mean? How many labs, science labs, do we want? And where do we want to put them? Uh, I usually put them on the beginning of the bus, and then like have belts running backwards with all science. Yeah. I don't know how many we want. Like The thing is, if we have too many labs, then just not all of them are running, which is not a bad thing, necessarily. Yeah, I usually do, like, 25. Yeah, 25 seems fine. It's not a multiple of 4, so I hate you forever, but still. <laughs> Deal with it. I will. You always do. I have to. I, I know. <laughs> it's been, what, like, a decade and a half? Yeah. Something the like thing that, is, yeah. I was the one who said, like, we're gonna need to play Space Age, so... Oh, but uh, that's just because you discovered it first. Yeah, I, I know, like, if I hadn't said it, you would have been still. Alright, I'll, so, upgrade our copper mining by, like, a fourth. Yeah, that'll help, <laughs> that'll help. Not a lot, but it's something. Yeah, no, every bit helps. Like, it's going in a buffer, so any excess we have will just get processed. Yeah. I'll also, have also... Should I also start like um, expanding the iron smelting, or you'll expand the iron smelting? Like once I can start crafting inserts when I'm done with like the science crafting, should I should I expand the first column as well because it's not doing much of anything currently? Yeah, you might as well. Right. Right. I'll get started on our main belt. Bus. Right. Now the question is, how much space do we need? And I always yes. undershoot it. Yeah, like I okay, so I have a lot of space. Like, question. how many belts of everything do we want? Yeah, but the thing is also not only how many belts do we need on the main bus. But also, how much space at the beginning of the bus between the smelters and the actual bus do we need? Oh, I'd, I'd maybe even start like all the way over here or something. Yeah, I think so. Especially if you want to craft gears directly from the smelting base. Exactly, yeah. And the thing is, then we have a lot of open space here where we could put playstations or something later, so. You know what? Also, I'll just use. A couple of here. Yeah, I'll just use all the belts we have, and that will be the beginning of our bus. Right where I'm standing. <laughs> like that in the middle of pirates. Uh, not quite. Not that much. Pirates. A little bit down south, I'll go clear them later. Gotcha. Uh, I have one more science pack to craft, and then my job here is done. Here's the question as well. Do we want to place production on both sides of the bell of, of the bus on one side of the bus? I, I'd say, like for example, keep the production here, then we can put however many belts we want over here. So on the east, you want the production. Yes, unless you want to put it on the west, but then we're going to need to finagle all these belts because. Yeah, yeah. Because you want the resources, you want the most, like to the closest side of production. Yeah, we'll. Place production on the east, then indeed. 
Okay. We need a bit more iron for gears. Let me just fill that manually for now. Alright. What are you going to do with those furnaces, by the way? What? What are you doing with those furnaces over here, by the way? Uh, I'm just gonna make like a bit of a hand with steel uh, production. Oh, just to get it kickstarted for like... Just uh, for like personal things, like if you want heavy armor, then it's gonna be nice to have like a couple of light armor sitting out. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll give you a chest. Thanks! I was actually waiting for those to craft, so that's amazing. So like now I can put a bunch of iron in here, then get you know, a stack of coal or something. Do you have any copper on you? I have a bunch of copper on me. Alright, I'm stealing it. Thank you. Here, you can get health. Ah, right, thanks. More than I expected, honestly. Yeah, I was just gonna feed the copper cable. They were out. Uh, we got 30 more electric mining drills. But it looks like we are doing... Decent on the... You're doing fine on the iron, definitely. For now, for now. I think I'm just gonna expand copper and coal a bit. The mining, you mean? The mining, yes. Yeah, I'll expand the column later, but right now I'm just making, like, or expanding the iron. Yeah. Because we're gonna need way more of that way sooner. Yeah, the coal is looking decent, but also... If you're gonna upgrade the copper, it's not gonna survive. Also, I'm gonna yeah, put no. a priority mm -hmm. on the coal. To the fuel? To the f uh, to electricity, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, to the fuel, wow. Yeah, definitely not to the fuel, to the electricity. It just... Uh, there's, still, there's still fuel. I mean, yes, but it's different fuel. Speaking of electricity, I can upgrade the column pretty much completely. Yes, I do have enough. Uh, Alright. Right. The, the iron column should now be running full steam. Perfect. We are. Uh, we consume about 6 megawatts, about. of 36. Right, so megawatts. one sixth about of our power. That's nice. Yeah, something. So we got, we can get quite a bit, we can use quite a bit more power before we have a problem. I'll go upgrade copper. I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm now looking at the smelting. Wait, I can just oh, slurp all this up. Right. Did you notice the click and drag thing, by the way? Click and drag? So if you're in your inventory and you're looking to transport things to a chest, you can shift click and then click and drag across in across different things and they will all instantly get transported. Eh, hey, really? I usually just do shift click for everything. What can we use steel? Already. Um, if we have the research, like if we make a hundred red and green science, we can make, use it to make engines on the spot. Yeah. Oh, also, um, look at the research, look at the research tab. Do we need to produce iron? Oh, for the steel axe, nice. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna say like I planned all of that out. Sure, you did, sure. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. Always planning ahead. Never yeah. running into any surprises with the builds. Never. We've always... Yes, planned. like this is Every, the basic yes. plan back already, right? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Yes. Yeah, like we already know what we're going to do on each different planet. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know we're going to fight worms. Yeah, like, like I think it's Vulcanus or something, where there's just like a massive worm running around the entire planet. Yeah, I got spoiled by the opening screen. And that's... Ah. That's kind of... Yeah, I have, I have simulations turned off. Yeah, I didn't, and that's 
kind of spoiled yeah, it for me. Shame, and, right? Yeah, yeah, I did not like the that. Thing is, like a lot of people were already following the final effects and stuff, so like they knew. Oh yeah, I knew there would be new enemies, and I knew there's like a new spider enemy. Like, who gave the bugs their own spider the claw? The pentapods, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. So, this will be our rightmost column of the bus. So I want the copper column over here. And yeah, that should be enough space, right? Something like this? Uh, I think so. Also, yeah, sure. you may call me crazy, but I'm going to do something. It's going to save me at least like minutes of my life. All right. I mean, I know you're already crazy, so me calling you that isn't going to make a difference. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. Booyah. Copper cable. Just copper cable. Just copper cables. Oh. Uh, For power poles and stuff. Sure, why not? I mean, you could have also just put this one over here in the chest, but sure. What? We already have a factory making copper cables, just not going into a chest yet. Yes, but that's all going into circuits, and one copper cable assembler can't sustain a uh, circuit thing, so any circuits yeah, yeah. you take out of that on top, like just hampers production. Yeah. Anyway. You can start on a green circuit, by the way. Uh, I'm first going to finish this column, which is what I needed the cables for. Yeah, fair. I think I'm just going to manually craft some transport belts. Oh, we're still peasants. What peasants? We're still peasants. Oh. Yes, we don't even have bots yet, and it's two hours in. I mean, we are a disgrace. <laughs> I mean, if you are speedrunning, then yes. Yes, we'd absolutely be a disgrace, but... Yeah, it's it just... depends. Like, the first speedrun is always just put on a timer and complete the game. Like, if your first speedrun is, like, 50 hours, then so be it. Yeah, fair. Alright, snow, uh, copper column upgraded. Alright. Just gonna take all of that. I'm going to upgrade our belt production, by the way. If you can get started on. You, you could very easily just put like two assemblers over here and just have to make belts. Like, the buffer will fill up eventually. Yeah, but I want to make it semi permanently immediately. Too late. Yeah, but that's just for the belts. I also want undergrounds. That's what I'm up Yeah, fair. On. Like, this is another thing, like, it's just gonna make... Like, across time, it's gonna make a significant amount of time difference. So. Yeah, but Here if you can... have an iron box, which will eventually get filled with uh, belts. So, early on, if you need belts, you can just go over here, for instance. Yeah, but if you can just start... Uh, Circuit? The green circuits on that belt, the third from the east. So what, which one I'm hovering over right now? This one? Yes. If you can fill that with green, that would be perfect. Yes. Uh, where should I make it? Like a bit more to the bottom or? Uh, make it here or? Uh, that's a good question. I'd say over here. How do you ping again? Uh, control alt click. Something over here, I'd say. Well, that's also the thing. It would also take up space for the gears, right? Yeah, I don't know if we want to make the gears first or the circuits first, so... Well, we'll definitely want some circuits. Immediately, but like four assembly yeah. machines, not a lot. The thing is, there's, there's two people over, so we can just make both of them. But like, say, I make the circuits here, and then you make the gears a bit more to the bottom. Like, this is going to be the input belt, then it's going to be... What, seconds? Yeah, but we kind of want... Well, the, hmm. so it's also the do. thing, do we want the gears, do we want to make them vertically or horizontally, like you're doing right now? Uh, Say with the green belt. I feel like this could work. Yes, but that's also taking from the bus into the bus. 
And early on that's fine, but we also kind of want it dedicated in smelting for the gears and for the circuits. Behold. Eventually we can just do this. Yeah, but... This also, is... eventually we can just rip this entire thing up. That's yeah, yeah but do. that's the thing. If we want it more permanently, where do we want it? And then I think we definitely want it on the west side of our bus. As close but to the dedicated smelting. The issue with connecting the west side is like, say for example, eventually we notice we need more copper, then we can just add another belt here. Say we need more circuits, we can just add another belt here. So, I feel like you should put the production on one side, like this. Yeah. And then have the left side or the west side infinitely expandable with more input belts. Yeah, but then you also take off stuff of the bus to put it on the bus. And that's yes. kind of not what I like. Well, say what we could do. Well, that's the entire idea of a bus, I feel like. You just have all the inputs available and they can just make more inputs on the bus. Uh, well, the only thing is, like, for example, if you put two, two belts of iron into one belt of gears, then you can ditch those two belts of iron, for instance, but... Yeah, but that's not really what I see a bus as. I see a bus as the base stuff, like iron plates, gears, the base products, and you take things yes. off the bus to make finished goods out of. Yes, but you don't the, put the finished thing of, back like, on the bus. Then it becomes the, the thing of what is a finished product and what isn't. Yeah, and I'd say green circuits well, aren't I, finished I'm products. I'm gonna say something else. What's a raw material and what isn't? Like, that's the thing. Like, these circuits are now gonna be a finished product and later they're gonna be a raw material. So I see no reason why they can't just be made on the bus and put back on the bus. I'd say ground products are things that we can't use directly. Except for things that really need... Right now ...and use them directly into crafting. Yeah, but that's... Except crafting. <laughs> we need to craft it into something else to actually use it. I but... mean, sure, but that, that's the entire thing of things we put on the bus. Yeah. Yes, but we're also making them, like, over here. Like, if you want to make anything you can't use outside of the bus, then what's the point of a bus? They are just making a mall. Yeah, but the mall is taking stuff off the bus. The bus is used to feed the mall. <laughs> the bus is also used... I feel like the bus should also be used to feed the bus. Like, I see no reason why you can't just say, like, I use some... Like, I split off of the copper over here, I put it on the... Uh, in the assemblers over here. Yeah, I know, but that's just never how I done it. Yeah. I, like I'm saying, it's completely fine. It's just never how I yeah, done it. Yeah, it's something we need to agree on before we start, actually. Yeah. But I do feel like... Like, worst case, after a while we rip this up and we get a couple... Well, like, late game we're gonna get our circus from somewhere entirely differently. Oh, course. absolutely. Late game circuits are gonna be delivered by the train load. We're, we are not fucking close to late game. That's my point. Not at all. But like, the thing right is... now, I just say, make things that are simple to build, get the resources, and then, like, later we can make... Like, first make it work, then make it work fast, then make it work well, or whatever it is. Yeah, but Something the like that. thing as well is, you know us. You know that if we say something, ah, this is temporary, it is never temporary. True, but the thing is, like, I feel like eventually we're gonna... Like, it's especially considering Space Age, we're gonna go to different planets and stuff. We can make clean stuff there. Like, we can make clean stuff in space if we want to. Yeah, fair. And it is like, there, just... There is gonna be multiple bases. Yeah, now we also just need to get to late game. Yeah, oh. exactly. Is it late game now, or is it... Mid game now? What used to be late game? I, I think the rocket might be mid game. I'm honestly not sure, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's weird to think about. Now, here's the thing, how did I make a basic... 
a basic. Uh... I'm I'm just now making a belt of circuits, by the way, or like some circuits, and I'm just gonna put them on the bus if that's all right. Like we're gonna put circuits yeah, on the bus fine. eventually, anyways, right? So. Oh, circuits are definitely going on the bus. All right, yeah. So absolutely, me putting 100%. them on the bus is not a is not a kind. Thank you. 